right, here's the video review for Masterpiece Smokescreen MP19, the, uh, the last of the three Datsun-based uh, figures that they've put out. Oh, excuse me, we've already seen Prowl, and um, I didn't have Streak on pre-order, but um, somebody was selling theirs, I picked up a Streak, he's on the way, so we'll see him in a few days, but... Uh, but yeah, I did get smoke screen. I got actually got them right before we left for vacation, um, and I just got back and I'm getting to all my reviews. I think I've shot like seven reviews tonight, which uh, I'm posting them randomly. So who knows what, what day this will go up? But uh, you're not going to see like six other reviews the same day as this guy. So anyway, um, he, he's slightly modified. You can see he's got the uh, the bigger fender up here. Spoiler, uh, smoke tactics, and uh, slot fever here over the wheel, so even he is enjoying Superior Spider-Man, apparently. Um, but more or less the same figure. I'm not going to dote too much on the transformation of him, since we've already seen it in Prowl, and we'll see it again in Streak uh, very briefly. He does come with different missile launchers. Well, actually, he comes with missile launchers. The other guys had some fold-out ones, um, and he comes with these that are, look different. And they can actually plug into the front of the car like this. Um, it makes the car look a little silly. Uh, much the same way that a lot of the gun storage on the cars looks a little silly. But uh, if you want to put the weapons on the car, he does have those. Um, now, there is a piece. He doesn't have the light bar like Prowl did. There's a piece right here that does flip up to allow the gun to, uh, you know, plug in, sit on top of the car. Um, but again, I'm not going to demonstrate that because I, I do... It, it, it's mostly if you want storage in vehicle mode, but it, I think it looks a little silly. But it is there if you if you, if you decide you want it. So... Go ahead and start transforming him. Uh, and, and the most notable, like, there's one big difference in the transformation, and that's his arms. Because um, they don't work the same way. With Prowl and Streak, the wheels end up behind the arm. And with Smokescreen, they end up on top of his shoulder. So there's a slightly different pivot here in the arm. But other than that, uh, nothing too different in the transformation. Bring that. Flip these in. Actually, I don't want to flip that in yet. Come on. And pop the doors open. That gets up. Bring this whole thing up. There we go. Open that up, and you can see he doesn't have the, the, the missile launchers under here. He's got the tabs that plug into these missile launchers. Which we'll, which we'll get to in a minute. I'm going to flip his head up and around. Bring this down. Bring arms up. Bring this down. Oh, wait, arms up. Into here. Oh, wait, forgot to, forgot to flip up these things. Flip these pieces in under his head. Come on. Pull this forward so this can snap in under here. Again, I push down, you'll know it when it snaps properly. Fold the arms up. Oh, that was a problem too. Okay, fold the arm all the way up. There we go. Now snap together. Nope. There we go. Snap that in. And again, like you said, the, the arms rotate. Instead of having the, the panel that comes up with the wheel on the back, these come up and the arms fold down from them to leave the wheels up on top of his shoulders, which is kind of nice. Give him a little bit of a different fold this uh, panel in. And then make sure these are flipped up, and then tab this, tab these tabs here onto the back of that. And then re-snap that into place when you pop it out, because that's what I do. Anyway. All right, bring the shoulders up. And push them in. There we go. So there's the upper half smoke screen. And then the, the legs, the legs are exactly the same. Open them up, get this panel down out of the way, and then kind of attach this over here, and extend the leg up, and extend it down here like this, rotate this panel up and around, flip that blue panel out, flip the window down, flip this foot to the back, and flip the panel back up and close it. Same over here. Panel down, 
to give it some room to rotate. Pop it out. Here, separate this down like that. Extend the leg. Push this all the way up into here. Flip that panel up. Close that up. Flip the foot to the back. Fold the window down. Rotate them at the waist. And their smoke screen in robot mode. Very cool. He's got a different head, as you can see. He's got a different, uh, he's got that bigger chest, thanks to the spoiler, or the bumper, I guess, not the spoiler, but the bumper that they've given him. And again, these weapons plug in. I think actually want to put it on this side. Nope, this side is over. So you just plug that tab in here on the weapon, push it all the way in. There we go. And then, since you want to make sure you got uh, the, uh, the tab comes back behind here. Now they're set up on his shoulders, so he's got missile launchers differentiated from the other two, whether you've got the Amazon missile launchers, the Dr. Wu missile launchers, or you just flip out the ones that are included, he looks different. Um, and again, take the gun, you flip the handle down, he can hold it in his hand. And there he is, another fine, I think, uh, like I said, the, the, the Masterpiece line has gotten really good lately since MP10. And, uh, I mean, I thought it was bad before, but they've, they've really been bringing their A-game. And apparently they're going back to the guy who designed some of the original MPs for the 2014. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Hopefully they learn from the, from the design process of these guys to... Because, uh, like, MP10 was a much sleeker version of the big, chunky MP01, and uh, it's the same guy. So hopefully he's learned some of that. Um, and, and I'm sure he has, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Uh, Star Saber apparently is going to be designed by somebody different, which they've already announced. Um, like I said, I don't have Streak in yet. Uh, we'll have him soon, and we'll see all three of them together. But for right now, here's uh, Blue Streak and Prowl with the, uh, the before and after kit, uh, launcher kit, which is really nice. So yeah, really just looking in again, you can see the difference in his bumper versus his bumper and the shoulders. So, all in all, another fine addition to the Masterpiece line. Um, if you're collecting Masterpiece figures, the, all three of the Dotson guys uh, seem to be worth picking up. I'll, I'll have a final verdict on Streak when he gets here. But there he is, uh, Masterpiece Smokescreen, MP19.